All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Viper, and today we're going to talk about the Apple Vision Pro Ultra Wide Monitor that can be in any environment, any immersive app, and we're going to compare that with Meta's Workroom app. If you could be so kind, hit that like button right there. It really helps the channel and it pushes this video so more people can see it. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. All right, it's a new setup for the Apple Vision Pro that allows you to have your ultra wide monitor inside of immersive apps, which is fantastic. And we're gonna compare that with the Meta Workroom app. So the one app that I'm gonna compare the Workroom to is called Smart Studio on the Apple Vision Pro. This one is a work environment app which gives you the desk and all that compared to the Meta Workroom app that gives you the same kind of thing with the desk and all that. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how to set that up on your Apple Vision Pro. All right, let's just hop right into it and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Here is the Apple Vision Pro Studio. All right, guys, this is Space Studio, your own personal workspace for the Apple Vision Pro. As you can see, I have everything on my desk, my pictures. I have two additional monitors with different things on them. And I can add how many monitors I want. I have my ultra wide monitor. Now that's the key important thing that I brought my ultra wide monitor inside an environment. Now you know that we previously couldn't do that, but now we can do that. And now I have my pictures on the desk, time, cactus plant. I have some pictures on the wall. And let me get a little bit closer to let you show some things that I got here. Now the first thing, as y'all can see, so they got a mask cut out of your keyboard and then I have a to-do list right in front of me. So I can write down, jot down, I have my to-do list for today or for tomorrow. Up top, y'all see my ultra wide monitor. And right now it's not even an ultra wide, it's just an wide. You know, I can make this as big as I want to. That is the fantastic part. Now you're able to bring your ultra wide monitor inside immersive apps, which is amazing. These little web browsers, I can bring them anywhere. Just panels everywhere. I only got two up for now, but I can have four, six, it doesn't even matter. I can put how many of them I want up. Then I have my clock. Then I have pictures all around. I have some pictures over there. Then if I go over here, I have more pictures. And over there in the corner, I have a notes app. So if I quickly want to take a note, I could just look at it and pinch. And then I can start taking notes over there. This is what I believe a lot of Apple Vision Pro users been waiting for. The fact that we have a desk in an environment that we can use and call our own. Now you can customize this environment, you can change it. They got like four or five different environments that you can use, which is pretty dope. If you know how to create your own environment using applications like Blender and things like that, they allow you to do that on your own. They got special instructions on how to do it. You bring it in and then you can create your own personal environment, which I think is really, really good. And oh yeah, if I get too tired of looking at what I see right here, I can turn around and have a big open view right here. A big open view of whatever that is i wish that was more like the apple immersion environment because their environments are photorealistic these are not this is better than just looking at nothing and i like it i wish i could bring my own skybox into this environment that they have but i can't i cannot bring my own skybox into their environment but i can make my own environment and create whatever skybox i want if you know how to use Blender. This is a great idea. I'm so glad that Apple Vision Pro finally have a workstation that's done right. All right, that was pretty wild, but let's compare the Meta Workroom app. Check it out. All right, this is Horizon Workrooms. This is the office space they have, which is pretty nice. You have your screen in front of you. Then if you look down here, 
you have your cutout for your keyboard right here you see how my hands come out here and then you know right here then if you look over here you have your clock on your desk right there that's your clock so they give you a clock and it's the right time by the way if I to move over you'll start seeing more of the environment got little butterflies right there that's kind of always right there <laughs> oh there goes some other lead falling and what that is that is pretty dope so they got moving environment which is pretty cool then you have your back wall which you have some books and a vase and some other stuff on the back wall unfortunately you cannot customize this but it's here then you got the other side of the environment which you got some leaves fall into and we can go back to the beginning right here so you got your display right here in front of you the cool thing is i can go here let me add this screen there you go have another screen and then i can add a third screen now i have three screens one here I got the one in front of me now and I have the third screen so you get three huge screens in front of you I can also take this and I can move it side like I can move it out the way so you can actually see the environment you see the water rippling they got a movable environment which I do like it just brings a little bit of immersion to it of course this is not like a perfect picture but it is great to have something moving like the water moving and the little leaves that's falling so it just feels more like true to life then i can move this back i can move it closer to me that's the far as it can go or i can move it back as far as back it can go and move it to the side unfortunately the workroom environment cannot be customized so i can't put nothing on my desk i can't add anything or take anything away besides the screens i can't put nothing on the walls but this is horizon workrooms if you just want to come in different environment and work you can do that all right so what you guys think both of these apps give you a desk to work at it both gives you an immersive environment that you can have in front of you and they both give you screens that you can use now you got a lot of different options you have your clock you can put photos everywhere you can customize this office the way you want it to be customized and if you know blender or anything like that they give you the option to create your own environment now that right there is fantastic you guys out there be coding and all that you can create your own bring in your own 3d models everything you can create your own virtual office that you envision the meta workroom apps is pretty good too you get your three screens you got that great environment that's in front of you it just don't give you a lot of options to put things on your desk or customize it in any way it's just that workroom app but it's no slouch and if you wanted to you can actually hit the meta button you could bring up screens inside that app too so you end up having like four screens you know you got a, a nice office right there you just can't customize with the meta workroom app from there you can go into a bigger meeting if you wanted to go into a larger group you can go right from there to a larger group which you can't do with the smart studio but you guys you guys compare and see which one you like and you know drop a comment let me know all right let's set up your avp and put it in developing mode so you can be able to have your ultra screen monitor in any environment and any immersive apps all right first you're going to go and you're going to go to the app store on your mac and download the latest version of xcode and you're going to install that all right and once you install that you're going to ensure like you always should have your mac and your apple vision pro on the same wi-fi network once you do that on your vision pro you're going to go to settings then general then remote devices and then turn that on on your mac you're going to go to xcode 
Then you're going to go to Windows, then select Devices and Simulators. Now your Mac should detect your Apple Vision Pro. You're going to click on it and follow the prompts. It should give you a code that you're going to have to pair up with your Apple Vision Pro. And once you do that, you're going to have to go to your Apple Vision Pro, go to Privacy and Security, and you're going to see Developer Mode. You're going to turn that on and you're going to click on Developer Mode and then and there you're going to turn on Developer Mode. Once you do that, it's going to tell you you need to restart your Apple Vision Pro. Once your Apple Vision Pro is restarted, now you should be able to go down and you should see something that's a developer mode. Click on that and then at the top, it should say allow Mac virtual display. Click on that and boom, there you go. And on Apple Vision Pro, if you go to the App Store, download Space Studio, that is the app you need for your studio environment. Like have your own desk and everything that I showed you in the clips. Your virtual monitor will go in any environment. It don't have to be that one. It can be in any one. So just letting you know, that's how you do it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.